Okay, something to make a video about. I bought this shell mill, I don't know, three, four years ago, and it's been nothing but problems. Six cutters, and you get two chances with them. And the cutters usually are in a box of five, so you gotta buy two boxes, and these are like 125 to $130 a box. Then you get a box with four that you need to buy another box when you need to replace these. But this has been a huge issue. I've had nothing but problems. And from what I understand after talking to the tech at MSC, it's that their angle that you're looking at is the reason. This shell mill was around almost $600 when I bought it. This, n not including this, this is separate. This is the new shell mill. There's five cutters. So it'll be creating a little bit less force. And there's a part number. Just the shell by itself was uh, after all was said and done, just a tad over a thousand dollars. These were $126. So, if you look, we've got a huge difference in cutting angle there. I don't have the inserts in yet, but I don't think I need to. I think you can see the huge difference in the cutting angle. And one less cutting arm. And what's nice about these cutters here is they're 12 sided. I get six sides and six more sides. So I can use these 12 times and I only need to buy one box. So just by virtue of these inserts alone, this should pay for itself the first year. But I'm told that this will cut a lot easier, uh, being that I'm on an R8 collet for the Bridgeport milling machine. So I have a bunch of plate steel I have to mill, some 1080, and this is supposed to get me where I need to be. Lots and lots of freaking money.